okay hi guys uh, this video uh, to how to configure 15 different setting options so the Rhino Liga 2 you can use it in, in different positions so uh, if this is the, the mouthpiece uh, we put uh, the read here and uh, you can put it this way always with this little arm to the back side this way to the back here uh, so you first one measure a little bit how it's gonna be and you decide if you want to put it in the front in the back so this this option a lot of a lot of uh, saxophonists uh, do it in the in the back side the most they can put it in the back side because uh, they feel free uh, freedom on the on the read so uh, I'm going to start to configure it uh, when I send the the ligature to to you by mail I already send them with this uh, tubing in place so I, I put the the corner in the little in the center hole so I make pressure with the with the finger to this size and then you stretch a little bit the tubing and put it there in place so uh, there are different materials and different harness so this one because it's a soft one I can put it quickly fast so uh, if you want to take it out you just just pull it back and that's it so <clears throat> the the black one are the more easy because this is very soft and uh, easy to stretch so you don't need to do a lot of pressure because you can uh, you can put it there very easy like this very fast right so now I'm gonna show you how to put the the yellow one that is the stronger is is very stronger and is it's hard to stretch so What I do with this one, use a little help with this little piece. You find uh, any core. You can use a uh, dental or any, any core of this. So um, put it in the center. I use a little herb with this little plies here. One, one you cross there you have in this way in this way so now you can put it and, and help with this little cord or rope I don't know uh, let's see so I just put it here make pressure with my finger and help help me with the the core. So it's a little stronger to do, but you can do it. That's it. Okay. So I already put it there. Uh, look. Let's see what is the side without the the no. And then I take take back this way. So let's do it with the the other one so you can see it twice so i put this here you can do it this way too so So this, uh, I think this is the the best option. It's more easy for the yellow one. You see, and then we do uh, the same. So we do we make a, pre a little pressure with the the finger and, and then help you. Once you do it first time, you're gonna see uh, feel that the that it's gonna be easy every time you're gonna do it. So also the the 
the tubing stretch when it's in position. So where are the 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 fifth the fifteen combination? Because this one are are made from a different materials and different hardness. And that the reason it will each one is gonna give you a different sound. <coughs> so let's Let's do uh, do uh, the the combination with the plate. This is the one that uh, made it for the O-rings we are here. This is uh, the brighter, and this is the dark. So this is the 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 sequence. So it's going it's going to be a little more dark in every step you choose. So and this is the 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 order for the tubing so this is the the brighter this is a uh, the meter and this is the darker so you can you can use it without this is the only part the the, the that you can use it without uh, any of the rubber on the the little o-rings so And you put it in place like this, okay? So maybe the first time you're going to try this, you you maybe you find some kind of difficult to install, to put it in place and set up. But once you do it uh, uh, a few times, you're gonna do it quickly and fast. So when you're gonna uh, change, this give you a brighter sound. You have brighter tubing and the plate without any, just the, the brass here, just the metal. It's gonna be the brighter setup. If you wanna rotate it and, and put it a little more dark, you just release a little bit, take it out like a, a ring and you rotate and put it this way so now you have another material here touching the reed so the depend of the material that is touching the reed that's that depend on the sound you're going to to make when you play so you just release a little bit take it out when you're gonna put it back you do it this way so do not lose too much this because you are going to be too loose so so just a little bit and then you put it in place and you control you have the control to the how how, how pressure do you want to make uh, to the rate so one is in position you can press and you have it so try different pressure here the read will respond different too. Also, when you put it at the at the front or, or or to the back. So, I'm trying to put it a little more to the back. So I lose a little bit and then I push back here. So this is this position are gonna give you more freedom if you go far far. So this is for this mouthpiece. This is the 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 more far you can put it at the back so that's it so this is one setup and when you lose a little bit you rotate it this way and this is another sound so you can have